Alright, this is part two. I have 35 minutes on my phone. This is an hour and I don't know, six minute video here. Seven minute video, whatever it is. I have this on my with you guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why well, even build that theory chain? No, guys, man. It's, it's expensive. If I make nine, ten million bucks, I'm not going to blow my money on a theory chain. I'm going to sign with Amazon or do digital streaming if, if physical media goes away in like six years from now. I don't think it will. It'll still be around six, seven years. But if it's gone in six, seven years, I will release it on digital streaming on my website, like Netflix, and pay like 25, 30 bucks, 30 bucks to watch each of the volumes. Sam. 30 bucks for volume one, 30 bucks for volume two, 30 bucks for volume three. I'm sorry. I'm gonna shut the window because you might hear the noise. My stepfather is doing garden work. You might never heard him, right? Let's shut the window. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's like Peter Jackson will be salivating over the 4K Blu-ray. I have a, can I get a, a bigger turn that I heard of my Peter? No, I'm not paying more money. You're fucking greedy. 500 million for the box office is enough for you. And if he's greedy for the merch, I can give him 150 million. He signs a 900 million deal. He makes a bit more, but I mean, that's enough for him. I'm not going to be hiring after him, man. So if Peter's really greedy in that sense, he's angry, I can up his merch to 150 million. Instead of 105, but I'm not going to hire for the box office. 500 million for the box office is enough. That's 600 plus million dollars for you in your own money. And 150 is like 200 million, almost 200 million dollars in your own money. He signed a nine, oh, now a 900 million deal. And 900 million dollars, you're now making close to 500 million after taxes. 480, 475, I don't know, around there, 485 million after taxes. That's a lot of money for Peter. But he wants 500 million back because he's greedy, obviously. He's a greedy pig. Same as Mel, too. He's greedy, too. So you gotta be careful for the sharks, I mean. Be careful. So I'm sorry. Be careful for the sharks. Be careful for the sharks. I'm so happy I'm off tomorrow. Take my nice walk, the one hour walk tonight, and I'll go to bed, and I'll make a video tomorrow. I gotta go to the bank, man. Hopefully, they, they I get my card tomorrow. Otherwise, I have to call, and I have to wait like eight, nine days for my fucking card. Oh. Hope everything goes well, right? I lost my wallet. Damn it. I will your company be buried in Hollywood? Yeah, man. I showed you guys the clips, man. I don't know. Imagine owning a $500 million uh, penthouse condo like that. Like, you do the math how high-tech that is, man. That's like Batman's house. You know um, Christian Bale's uh, uh, garage in uh, the, the Dark Knight trilogy? Remember how you saw his, like, what, his garage? Yeah, take over a garage like that I'm going to own. I have, like, this tunnel... And like I asked where I parked my cars, I have this like luxury elevator that goes up to the to the third floor. Will your car be on top of the roof? Maybe not. It might be built on land. If it's not on top of the roof, it's fine. I can just build it on land. I have this penthouse. I have three floors. The garage is the garage is the bottom floor. Second floor is a pool room, and third floor is where I live, the area where I live. And I have my high end living room. It won't be a huge huge penthouse. It'll be pretty big. My pool would be pretty big, but you're looking at something like like high tech, man, like 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 like, like Batman's house and like the Dark Knight trilogy, Ben Affleck's house in Justice League, something high tech, man. High tech alarm system, automatic doors, like Incredibles. It was something top notch, yeah. 
That's where the whole Rackers are like, Sean, holy shit, I, this is your crib? And I thought I was rich, and they feel like shit. Because even though those guys are rich, they're not as rich as me. They don't have a, a, a house like that, man. They have like a $5 million, $2 million tavern house, which is fucking high tech, but it's not a $500 million penthouse, whereby everything is completely pimped out. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I have my high-end three hundred million dollar jet. The actors are flown in, like Incredibles, which is fucking nice. Obviously, my luxury buffet, limo services, all, you know what I'm saying? Like staying at suites since there for for the training. High-end ad shoots, magazine, digital ad, shoot, digital magazine ad shoots. Something fucking high tech, man. I'm a high-paying working Hollywood on average, in most cases, right? I'm paying the actors more money than what they're making in Hollywood on average. Yeah, man. That's what every actor for every movie will beg. Oh, Ivan, please, can I be in your next movie? I'm like, no, guys, you're not going to the next movie. You're going to go back to Hollywood and behind you. You deserve. I'm not going to do my best. Sorry. You have to give other actors. I know you want to be in my next movie. You have to give other actors an opportunity. I even, like, fuck those actors. They're going to tell me that. I'm like, guys, stop being selfish. Like, even Keanu Reeves and Ben Affleck and all of them are going to beg after the great escape. I want to be in that romance story. I'm like, guys, you're not good, good for the movie at all, man. I'm sorry, yeah. Ivan, please, man. Like, I don't want to go back to Hollywood, man. Like, Hollywood's not your company, Ivan. Your company's so much better than Hollywood. I know, but you're not good for the very neat, man. You're not good at all, guys. <laughs> and they're still going to beg. I'm going to be strict and say no. No, I'm not going to sign you, yeah. Why would they beg, Ivan? There's, there's, there's many reasons. The first reason, they don't want to be left behind. They want to be saved. They were saved. They don't want to be left behind. They experienced a worldwide international fame for the movie. They don't want to be. They, they don't want to be in Hollywood left behind. That's the first thing. Second thing, Sky Source is better than Hollywood. I pay them more money than what they're making in Hollywood. Don't forget, I gave them their freedom. Don't forget that in Hollywood, you know, you don't make free money. You gotta do it right. I gave them their freedom. Obviously, and my company blows hot out of the water. They were featured on the magazine attitudes and Sky Source news. The interviews. On my website, the red carpet event, crazier fame, worldwide national fame, luxury buffet, hard paying work, pirate out my five star condo, being flown by incredible suits on a jet, pirate out my yacht, my company's burned in Hollywood. Yeah. Those are the reasons they're gonna bang. The two main reasons they don't want to be left behind, they want to be saved. And second reason, Sky Source is burned in Hollywood. And those are the two reasons why they're going to bank. And Skyscrapers pays more in Hollywood on average. You don't forget that. The freedom thing is not really a big thing. Because most people are glad you do it for money. But don't forget, I'm also giving the actors... Like, I'm paying them all these millions. I'm giving them freedom. They don't have to do anything. Like, it's... it's, it's I'm, I'm paying them... They're making their free millions, if you want to say, right? Which is nice. It's nice to make a lot of money and have freedom. Where, right, in Hollywood, you're not free. Like, you make a lot of money and you're a dirty slave. That's how it works. You have to pay a price to make to, to be to be famous in Hollywood. It's not free. There's a reason why for me to be in Hollywood, I have to sell out. Because nothing's free in Hollywood. You have to do it. That's how it works. So Sarah. Don't hate him, Zen. That's why that's another reason why. That's not really a big reason though, because the guy the, the, the guy do it for money. But the main reason is they, they don't want to be left behind. They want to be saved, and my company blows out of the water. Those are two reasons why they're gonna pay. So Sarah? Yeah, man. But I'm not resigning you guys, man. You can't be selfish. You have to think about other actors. It's not just about you, man. So, Sarah. You have to think about other actors. It's not just about you guys. Don't hate me, Sammy. It's not just about you guys. I'm going to go out and have a smoke real quick, guys. It's been a good maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'll have a smoke outside. So, Sarah. Especially the Zania stars, they're really gonna bang because Zania's is such a special story. Aerith had no more demons, and they're part of that. The Zania's buzz is gonna be crazy. I don't think any movie buzz. Their unique and the Great Escape will have crazy white buzz, but not on the same level as Zania's. Why? Because Zania's is my first movie. No one knows why to see Iron Roger movie. I might see Iron Roger movie. And they read my book, they know how good my story is, and Aerith no more demons. And it's a one billion plus dollar budget movie. That's why it'll have crazy will buy buzz. Zanus. 
And he's, 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 he's acting as experience at Worldwide Fame for the red carpet event. They're trending with me. Like, every day on Twitter. They're fucking saved. They don't want to be left behind. And they, they're part of that Buzzfeed movie. I might go World Tour and do. And if I do go World Tour, the actors are getting paid for that, too. Don't forget that. If I go World Tour... Go on a world tour. The actors are going to be making like 200, 300 K in speaking fees, man. Because I'm going to be charging the venues 50% of the take. I get 50% of the money. You take you take the other 50 because you're hosting the event. You, go, you want to make your money back. I take 50% 50 of the, of the money. And I split it with the... I, take, I give like 10% of my money to the actors and like Peter and all of them and Mel Gibson. And I take the rest. Because man, you're going nice. You know, I don't hate losing count. Sarah. Will, will you speak for free? Only if the organizers don't charge the fans, I will speak for free. But if you charge the fans, right, right, I deserve 50% of the money. Because you're all, the only reason why that venue is packed is because of me, my sibling, other and the actors. We deserve to take 50% of the money. I'm going to tell the organizers, yeah, I took a deal, Ivan. Yeah, man. The only reason why this venue is filled up is because they want to see me, my sibling, other and the actors. You give me 50% of what you made. So if you charge. If there's 50,000 fans and you charge $10, that's $500,000. I want to, I take 250, you take 250. If I make $250,000, I'll take like 100 grand of the money for, any, for me and my son other. We take 100 grand and we split 150K with the other actors and they may, they all make a good like 9, 10, 11 grand for themselves. If I give like about 10%, 12% of my money away to the actors. If I make 250K, they gave me 250k, I'll take 100k. I split one, the other 150k with the actors, the peer and all them, and they make like $11,000 each. And that's why you do the math, you speak at like 40, 50 places, you're pulling in 200, 250, 300 games speaking views. You're making a lot of money, the actors. Yeah, whereas Hollywood, I don't think the actors get paid for that, man. They speak for free. Hollywood might pay for their flights and hotels, but I think they don't get paid for that in Hollywood. Sometimes they might get paid, I don't know. But I don't think they get paid in Hollywood. Whereas my company with the World Tours, the actors get paid for that. Unless the organizers don't charge the fans, then I'll speak for free. But if you charge the fans, I'm taking 50% of, 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 of the earnings. It's fair. Yeah, man. So, sir. Yeah. The actors, one reason why the actors will beg because they don't make this money at all. On average, they make less than what I'm paying them. You're making money off the merch, the, the royalties for saying it's obviously your, your rich base. Obviously, the side money, commercial money. You also have the speaking fee earnings for, for the world tour, if I go touring. They're making a lot of money, man. And they got their freedom, dude. Don't forget that. And my and they got spoiled with all these nice perks, man. Fly on my private jet, party on my private jet, on my yacht. A few feature on digital magazine. Actually, they're all going to beg, man. It's going crazy. You are looking at something crazy, man. Yeah, man. I even tell them my crew, I even please, like, I even sniff another, please, man, like, like, please, like, save me, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to go back to Hollywood, Ivan, please, man, I want to work for you for the rest of my life, Ivan, I don't want to be left behind, Ivan, so like, cry, I'm like, man, your pity game is not going to work on me, man, you can cry and shed tears all you want, man, you're not good for the Grey Escape, with Keanu Reeves, the college, and I'm not, you're not good for that movie, you have to give other actors opportunities, it's not just about you, you can't be fucking selfish, man. I know you had a blast filming the movie and, and I'm saying being part of that, that crazy one by Buzz, but you're not good for the next movie, guys. <laughs> okay? You can cry tears. It's not gonna work on me, man. Like you can cry heavy tears and like be like, Ivan, please, like cry and shed tears. It's not going to work on me. You're not good for the next movie. I'm gonna keep saying that, man. Because I know these whole rappers are gonna beg I'm like, look, man, you can beg all you want, man. You're not good for the next movie, man. That's why I say I make that bag on you need something. <laughs> yeah. The bang on your knees song is the symbolism of the world getting what, getting what they deserve. When I'm K and my school, it means the world will finally realize the price they're paying. They're left behind and, and they're all going to beg forgiveness. I can please forgive me. I'll do anything that should be saved, but it's too late. You kill an innocent man. You cause that mess. You can't take that back. You're just evil to me. Act like I'm assuming, my sister is not my wife. Act like I'm not God. All that stuff. It's locking all the words to me. And you pay a price too. That's how, that's how it works. And the Hollywood actors are going to beg me my student other to resign them. And all the Hollywood actors and their agents are going to desperately beg these actors for work. 
That's why my sooner argument made that big on his song was me, my sooner and our boss. The world's begging for forgiveness. They're left behind. They feel the price being left behind. Just like you make me her pay a price. All the Hollywood actors are desperately begging these actors for word. That's how crazy it'll be. And all the actors who were in my movie for Zayn's and Crazy were all going to beg my sooner to resign them. They're going to beg on their knees. They're not going to get down on their knees. It's, 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 it's hyperbolic speech, right? It's metaphorical speech. The way they beg as a, is, is, is as, as, as if they're begging on their knees. They're, they're going to sincerely beg, oh, Ivan, please, like, please. Some of them might even cry, oh, Ivan, please, man. Like, I don't want to go back to Hollywood, Ivan, please. Like, Hollywood's not your company, Ivan. I don't want to be left behind, Ivan. I want to be saved. Oh, Ivan, please, man. Some of them might cry, I'm like, look, man, you can shed those tears, man. It's not going to work on you, man. You're going to get what you deserve. You're going to go back to Hollywood, left behind. Okay, listen. Yeah. Let me tell you guys, I'm going to go outside and have a quick smoke. I'm going to have another coffee. I'll be back in a sec, guys. I know you, you love this video. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna hate you a second. Yeah. Skip the video. We don't want to wait. I'm gonna go have a smoke, guys.
guys are back. I don't know how much time I have left. How much time do I have left? Yeah, I still have a lot of time left. Yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and get more coffee. Give me a sec, guys. Where the heck's my cup? Where did I put this right there? <laughs> Get more coffee, guys. I'll be back in a second. Sorry for the long week, guys. I have to. I went outside to have a smoke, and I went upstairs to get coffee, but I didn't make it though, so I'm drinking cocoa right now. I have like ten minutes on my phone, so whenever you feel like you're waiting for long, guys, just skip the video. Skip it a good maybe three, four, five minutes. I should be back. Back, obviously. Yeah, man, they can barely want. They're not good for the next movie, man. You can't be selling. I'm not gonna have the same actors in all my movies. No, sir. Because for my company, I'm only doing one movie at a time, so it's better than the Hollywood companies in quality, but it's not. It's not bigger in in quantity. Because Hollywood companies put out a few movies every year, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movies a year. They put out. Was I'm only putting out one movie at a time. But the quality of movies are better than all movies. The greatest keep I'm making for like six, seventy, six, eighty million dollars. 
Okay, so it's blowing the Hollywood movies out of the water, but it's one movie at a time. Say yes, I'll make it for $1.2 million, $3 million. They're unique, I'll make for maybe two eighty million dollars See, Sarah? So it's a blockbuster romance story they're unique. It's, it's like Twilight, but very than Twilight. A big blockbuster romance story. It's not like an independent blockbuster uh, romance story, no. It's a blockbuster, blockbuster romance story. If I do the four movies or five movies, or I might do The Matrix, I don't know. We'll see what happens after exams. So after Zayas, you guys will be wondering, will I even do The Matrix, or will he do the four movies? In a vow movie, there would be Grey Escape, and and then Western Gangster movie, or will he do the Matrix shows? Yeah, I don't know. Depends what, what happens with Matrix 5 will determine what I will do. If they make Matrix 5, chances of the Matrix is not happening. I'll just do the four movies after that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My sister always all curious and saying what I mean all the time. How much money did you make off your book, by the way, Ivan? Yeah, I made like about 10 billion bucks. You made 10 billion dollars off your book? I'm like, yeah, she's like, holy shit. My battery's low. You know what I'm saying? By the way, Ivan, are you going to share that with me? Are you going to share that with me? You know what I'm saying? She's like, you know, she's even at evil. Are you going to share that with me, Ivan? I'm like, yeah, I will, man. Relax, man. Holy shit, this girl's crazy. Yeah, fucking evil, yeah. Charging my phone. Yeah. So, Sarah, didn't give me that evil look. Yeah. Relax, honey. I'm going to share the money with you, man. You don't have to give me that evil look. She wants a piece of the money. Yeah. She wants to get her clothes, her purses, her cars. She wants to build that auto with me. Buy that yaw with me, buy that jazz, she's fucking evil, yeah. Say so I have the best face in the world, yeah. Some Sarah. Some Sarah. You think Peter Jackson will tell you that your movie's better than Lord of the Rings? You might tell him that, yeah, Ivan, this movie's gonna be better than Lord of the Rings. But he'll start to picture all the scenes in his mind. Every time them demons, the war building, the, the war, me acting as Prince Saki is, it's finally in his mind, yeah, the big, the big exodus of 5,000 Sakians. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna hit Peter's mind. This is gonna be better than Lord of the Rings. This is a, bit, this is a deeper story than Lord of the Rings, yeah. Then the, think something like Prince of Egypt, guys. For 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 Zanus. except not like that much people, but it's five thousand Safians, and they journey through this cavern. So imagine something like Moria, but you have five thousand civilians in there. They're all scared. <coughs> you have a demon bastard in there, and Takis, and you have as many more in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the caverns, and you also have the big big war in the end with uh, Eretet's army, and the civilians all crying when Takis are marching to fight them. You also have the Crystal Ass of the South. You also have the prologue where Takis the first fights a war against Aerith. I almost pulled a sword for you, yeah. Look at a masterpiece. The scene with Tacitonius and Cassius with Aerith in them in volume two. The politics in volume two. You look at that fucking amazing piece. Ivan, mean, how'd you come with this story, by the way? I'm like, I don't know, I'm gifted. I, this is Brother of the Rings. I'm like, yeah, Brother of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, it's my camera.